Hello everybody, this is another episode of A Dance of Fire and Ice. Now usually, I like to splice it up, you know, split up A Dance of Fire and Ice a little bit, but today I just really felt like playing A, Do a Dance of Fire and Ice, so yeah, let's just go. Alright, so let's start off with a really strong custom level. MNX, Night Wanderer, Sinsuka Remix, but it's a crossover by Fire Sticks. Another cursed Fire Sticks map, this time adding Rhythm Doctor Rose to the level for the true Muse Dash X RD X Adofi experience. It looks so simple, but it took me so long to do because I essentially had to memorize it. <laughs> this level made me think again about how different Adofi and RD are. In RD, having to deal with multiple gameplay elements and distractions is basically the main thing levels revolve around. But in Adofi, you have to pay so much attention to the main track that adding a couple distractions can throw you off so hard. Even then, distractions can be fine if they're not excessive, but doing something like this is too much. Really fun concept. Can't wait to see what Fire Sticks does to the, for the other Muse Dash levels, and I can't wait for this gimmick to appear in the third Crown Island level whenever it releases. And, you know, I just got done like playing Rhythm Doctor like a long time ago, and I'm like, this is gonna just be fun to play through. Fire Sticks levels are always very cursed, but I think this is a good level to get me introduced to playing all of them. So let's go do it right now. An interesting time. <laughs> I've already seen I've already seen portions of this level already, so I already like I know like what's gonna happen. Um, but like it's been such a long time since I've seen this level that like I don't remember everything that happens in it. Let's see. Yep, here we go. I did not. Oh god. Not expect there to be SVT boots, but that's fine. We're not dealing with like hard, like you know, 20 ms like leniency here. Okay, swing. Oh god. Okay, wait. Oh god. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good job. You fool. You literally can't not S rank this lol. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I messed up like so many times on that level. But oh it's it's such it's such a nice uh, level. And cause you know, fire sticks level. I'm actually I should probably plan on playing all of these cursed levels eventually, but for right now, this serves as a nice introduction to them. Next up, Luminous Flower, composed by Commissar, and charted by Green Apple. What a nostalgic. An old GB style frame and great chip tune music combines very well for one awesome level. If you didn't try this yet, have a shot. It's really worth it. You'll not regret that. Now, actually, this is a remix of a Toho song, and I was like, wait a minute, didn't all Toho remix get like destroyed a while ago? But like, this one's still here, so I'm like, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's see what it's all about. You might recognize this song, as I'm pretty sure this is just a remix of a Toho 6 game, so uh, that's gonna be interesting. I said this looks pretty sick though.
kind of find it interesting though. So I'm pretty sure Toho remixes are like not allowed, but this song is here apparently. So you know, I want to at least make sure that I at least play this because this might get purged with the Steam Workshop really soon. I do, I do appreciate like what they've done so far. I must imagine it must have taken like a while to like do this. For a second, I thought this was just gonna be the same section, but never mind. I think, uh, oh shoot. Okay, I guess that's like two doubles and then a three point turn. Actually, pretty decently long level. Actually, I did not expect that level to be so long. But hey, I guess it was it was pretty cool though. I did like the the new details that they put in there. But on to our next custom level, track two, composed by S. Millie and charted by Damning. Moderate play difficulty, excellent effects, and crazy gimmicks. A song that lingers in your ears every time you hear it. I have nothing to say. It's really well made. A level that contains almost all elements that rhythm gamers will like. Moderate difficulty, some gimmicks in there. That's all you need to sign me up for this level. Oh, let's get things started, right? Apparently there's just one tutorial, so uh, I guess we'll just get it over with, right? <laughs> And nothing too complicated, really. All right, here we go. Oh, are you like in a dystopia or something? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, sh whoa. <laughs> okay, Muse. Wait, this is Muse Dash. Oh my god. All right, well, here we go, I guess. What? Okay. I'm so. I did not pick. Okay, because, like, it said interesting gimmick, so, like, I thought it was, like. Okay, I guess I got myself into this. Did not give me a re get set ready go, but luckily uh, I kind of just guessed it there. <laughs> I 
we barely got like the good accuracy too. I think I screwed up like so much on like that muse desk section, and then like the rhythm doc. I think I tapped a couple too many times on the rhythm doctor section. Okay, I did not expect that at all, but it was kind of cool. I really gotta probably get a better accuracy on this though. Not gonna lie, still a pretty cool level. All right, here we go. All right, so this level right here is uh, hard for me just because the gimmick here is something that's going to be really hard to get used to because not only are you dealing with the regular map itself, but you're dealing with these other like Rhythm Doctor things that are going on. And if you've never played Rhythm Doctor before, you're going to have a real hard time even understanding what the rhythms are supposed to be. So <laughs> that is what's going to make it a bit difficult. And it's it's just the really it's just the gimmick itself that's just pushing this up so hard. I mean, if like let's say like the mid spins were actually like visible, then like you have a lot more of an easier time. But it's intentionally made that way, so that way it's pretty difficult. It's still a fun level. It's just that uh, if you don't know Rhythm Doctor, you're gonna struggle a lot. That's really all I can say about it. A pretty cool Toho remix in my opinion. However. It's relatively slow, so you're not going to have too much trouble. The only thing that's really kind of pushing up to this point, really, is, like, the, the tricky amount of patterns that it has inside of it. There's some, like, zips and some tricky, like, swirl placement, and it's a bit more harder to sight-read this because you can't see, like, the color of the arrows of those swirls. But besides that, I don't think it's that difficult. Pretty long, though. Surprisingly, another level with a Rhythm Doctor gimmick, which uh, was not part of the plan. I did not know that this level actually had Rhythm Doctor elements in it. I just thought it was gonna be like some interesting gimmick, not like two games in one. So uh, yeah, so first off, I think the first section is inspired off of Muse Dash, I might be wrong on that. And then the second section is Rhythm Doctor. So, if you do not know how to play both of those games, you might be a little bit screwed. I think the first section, I think, like, the Muse Nash section is pretty self-explanatory, because all you have to do is just hit on, like, whenever, like, the things get on, like, the, like, the circle thingy. But for, rhythm but for the second Rhythm Doctor section, you're kind of just gonna, you're kind of just gonna need to, you know, watch some Rhythm Doctor to actually understand what's happening in that section. But that's all I have to say about that level. Thank you guys for all watching. Hopefully this was a very interesting episode for all of you.